So one sort of fascinating idea that's been on my mind lately uh, is this concept of in vitro meat. Now, when I first read about this, I was just totally like, it, it just blew my mind. Now, in vitro meat basically involves taking stem cells from an animal, let's say a cow, and you can basically put these stem cells in a nutrient-rich culture and grow meat, okay? They've literally figured out how to do this, which means you'll never have to kill another animal to get your protein. Like, you literally grow meat, it'll taste the same. Maybe you can engineer it to have higher omega-3s, be really healthy. It'll be something like, you go to the supermarket and you'll have, this meat was created by the murder and massacre of a cow. This meat was grown in a petri dish, it has high omega-3s and it's actually good for you. So imagine never having to kill another animal via this use of science and technology as applied to overcome a human problem. Um, and secondarily, think of like the benefits to the environment. Um, I recently read a statistic that said that like more CO2 is sent into the atmosphere from all the methane of all the cows that we're breeding to feed all the meat eaters than all of the cars in the entire world combined. So imagine if we no longer have to breed this massive amount of cows that are gonna be slaughtered anyway to, meet, to feed people and instead we're growing our own meat, this in vitro meat concept. Um, I think it's like one of those like practical, almost like obvious solutions to a human problem. Now, some people oppose this uh, for, the, for the fact that they think that this, this means that we're playing God, that we're tinkering with nature, that we're, 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 it's like a heresy of sorts. And I really think that this is this kind of anti-science, anti-intellectual mentality that seems to have permeated certain pockets of our culture is really problematic because science and technology are really the only things that have ever helped us overcome problems. I mean, it is via science and technology that we have extended our reach from the very first moment that man grabbed a stick to reach a fruit on a really high tree. We've been using technology to extend ourselves, to extend our possibility, to extend our potential. And I think this is, if anything, it's an incredibly romantic quality of the human species, you know? Like, we have decommissioned natural selection and now we're looking within ourselves and deciding what we want to become, you know?